So starting when I turned 18, um, I've been working in Republican politics since then. So I started out at a state Senate race um, back in my home state of Kansas. Um, while I was in college in Kansas, I, I interned for my for my U.S. senator, um, lived in D.C. for three months, interning for my for my senator. And now that I live in Indiana, I've continued to be involved in Republican politics. Um, I'm a Republican precinct committeeman, um, and I'm working diligently to reelect Governor Eric Holcomb here in Indiana because I feel that he's a Republican who's who's earned our votes. He's done a great job for Indiana, and I will continue to to work for him to get him reelected. And I'm also working diligently for one of my friends who's running for the state Senate um, back in Kansas. So I'm helping her campaign as much as I can. And while I'm doing all this, I'm just watching in complete and utter horror as Donald Trump has warped the Republican conservative brand. He is just decimating our Republican bench at the local and the state level. There are good Republicans who are good, honest, hardworking, Christian people with great policy proposals who will lose in 2020 because Donald Trump is dragging down the Republican brand so much. They will lose to Democrats because of Donald Trump. And I've just watched this just these past four years, and it just horrifies me that these candidates are going to lose these winnable races. But that's not even the worst part. Like, I I try not to, to put too much stock in, in earthly political parties. You know, the founders did not intend for us to do that, to put so much stock in parties. My biggest problem with Donald Trump is he's causing us to lose the battle of ideas. We are losing young voters because we are not coming up with innovative, free market, conservative proposals, policy proposals to some of these ideas. He's made the last four years about himself. He's made the last four years about all of his scandals. We're losing the battle of ideas. And to me, that's the biggest harm that's going to come from this to the Republican Party long term. We're not putting forth free market conservative proposals to solutions like climate change and police reform and foreign policy and all these issues that our country is facing because we're so wrapped up in in defending Donald Trump and and you know from his every little scandal. I'm done with it. So I'm going to continue to work to elect Republicans at the local and state level because they're good people. But at the federal level, folks, the only way that the National Republican Party is going to get the message is if millions of conservative Republicans continue to work for candidates at the local and state level and build our bench back up. But we have to vote for Joe Biden. It's the only way. It's going to send a message to them. That is the only way that they will realize that they've danced with the devil. So this is the only way that they're going to realize and will ultimately start backing candidates with good ideas again, instead of a cult of personality as, as the Republican Party has become around Donald Trump. So I really hope you will all join me um, in, voting for, in voting for Joe Biden um, in November. I will proudly display my Eric Holcomb, Republican for governor of Indiana yard sign right next to my Joe Biden 2020 yard sign. So I hope you will join me in doing the same. Thank you very much for your time.